What's going on guys, it's Rob from Heroes Avenue. Happy Friday, hope you guys are all doing well out there. There is a ton of news out there in the world of comic book movies, not just on the DC side of things, though that is what we're gonna be focusing on. Uh, I was thinking about doing a, uh, a video about Nick Fury getting his own Disney Plus show when all of this stuff happened, so I figured I'm gonna focus on DC like I have been doing, and we're gonna talk about this Hawkman casting for the Black Adam movie, and we're also gonna be talking about uh, the Snyder Cut updates, uh, it feels like there's a ton of updates coming at us. The Ray Fisher situation, a new HBO Max show, and a potential Green Lantern casting. We're going to talk about all that in just a second. But we're starting off with a Hawkman casting update. And it, it looks, so this article right here from Heroic Hollywood is what I saw floating on Twitter a few hours ago. But it's actually official. It says right here, Black Adam, Aldous Hodge in talks to play Hawkman in New Line's DC movie. Actually, it's, the deal is official. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to what The Rock had to say about this. But um, just in case you guys don't know this guy, um, I recently saw him in um, the Invisible Man movie, which is kind of a, uh, a, re a remake of the original uh, a monster horror movie, Invisible uh, Invisible Man, and it was it was great. He he played a, a he. There's only a few main characters they focus on in this recent uh, uh, version of Invisible Man, but he played a great character. And um, the biggest thing that stood out to me outside of his his acting and his his acting chops in there, uh, he didn't have a whole lot to do, but it is his physicality. Like he, I think he plays a cop in there if I remember correctly. But his physicality. Uh, it was. It's definitely it's gonna go ahead and be able to at least stand on par with something someone like The Rock on screen. Now, you know, this is someone that no one really expected. A lot of people were talking about Michael B. Jordan playing Hawkman, uh, and it looked like they were trying to get an actor of color for this role. And um, again, none of that really mattered. It's who really fit the role. And you know, a lot of people were floating people like Army Hammer, who feels like, who it feels like is never gonna get a DC role. But anyways, you know, th there's probably a lot of reasons uh, they chose uh, Aldis. Not only is he a rising star, I think he was also on Straight Outta Compton. He played MC Ren, and also he uh, is he was in Hidden Figures, which was a great movie, and also uh, he's in Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country on HBO. And I haven't yet started watching that. I heard it's amazing, uh, but I guess he's a rising star, and he's probably in as as a rising star. It's probably the fact that he's a little bit cheaper uh, uh, to cast at this point in his career wh while he's a rising star. Um, that probably played a role, but it could be other things. Could be he just blew it out the water with his uh, uh, casting tape or whatever. So here's what The Rock had to say about it. So this is on Instagram, and The Rock says... This is Hawkman. A pleasure to welcome Aldous Hodge to Black Adam. Hawkman is a critical leading role for our movie as he's a he is the fiery leader of the JSA, Just Society of America, and is one of the most beloved legendary characters in the DC Universe. I called Aldous personally as I wanted to surprise him that he got the role and it wound up being one of the greatest conversations I ever had. <laughs> and, and this is pretty funny. Here it goes. It says, Aldous, hello? Uh, and The Rock says, hello, I'd like to speak with Aldous. Aldous says, who's this? This is Dwayne Rock Johnson. Long pause. And Aldis says, whoever this is, stop playing with my phone. <laughs> the Rock goes, this is Dwayne. Is this Aldis? Longer pause. Aldis says, this shit ain't funny. I said, stop playing on my fucking phone. And uh, The Rock says, Aldis, this is Dwayne Rock Johnson. I just called to say thank you so much for sending in your audition. It was great, and I really appreciate the efforts you made. Just want to say thanks and best of luck in all you do. And one more thing, welcome to Black Adam. <laughs> Longest pause, Aldis says, I'm sorry you'll have to hold on for one second. He puts the phone down and walks away, and all he hears is inaudible yells. And Aldis says, uh, DJ, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> and The Rock's laughing. And he says, you okay? I'm going to crush this role. Or you're going to crush this role. We went on to have an awesome conversation full of gratitude, love, and motivation. And basically says he cannot wait to work with Aldis. So... Uh, we have another huge casting update for Black Adam. It's making it all more of a reality. And quite honestly, again, the biggest thing was getting an actor who can match the physicality of the role um, and along with the acting chops as well. So I think uh, this is a good casting. You know, obviously, I'm not the most familiar with him as an actor, though I have seen him in a few things. Like I said, Straight Outta Compton, Hidden Figures. 
um, Invisible Man, and I thought he was great. So um, I see no problem with this. Makes me more excited for Black Adam, and I want to know what you guys think. Have you guys been watching Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country, and has he been killing it in there? Uh, do you think this is a, uh, a good casting for Hawkman? Uh, I'm really excited to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on. We have um, we have uh, some additional photography for uh, the Snyder Cut. Obviously, this has been the talk of uh, the talk of Twitter. I mean, maybe it's just in my circles, but talk of the internet lately. A lot of people are talking about and framing it in their own personal way. Zack Snyder planning new Justice League shoots amid Ray Fisher claims. And this is coming from the Hollywood Reporter again. A lot of people are saying that this news is coming out kind of just as a warning shot to Ray Fisher. Because Ray Fisher uh, is obviously in, heated, uh, in a heated battle against Warner Brothers about the treatment on set for, of Justice League. Um, and uh, basically... There's an ongoing battle right now, but uh, there it looks like a lot of people are framing this as, hey, you know what, this is kind of Warner Brothers shooting uh, kind of a warning shot, like, hey, there's going to be reshoots for this movie. And they even say, they even say that uh, Henry Cavill is coming back as Superman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman for new scenes, Ben Affleck for new scenes, as well as Ray Fisher. But then it goes on to at the end of the article to go ahead and say, um, uh, to talk about all the battle, the battle that he's in with Warner Brothers right now, and it says ho with Fisher um, in talks with Warner Brothers and with a, a negotiation going on and with everything going on, it's kind of uncertain what's going to happen because of all the drama that's going on. I'm summing up really fast right here because I'm sure you've probably seen people talk about it already. I'm a little late on reporting this, and uh, yeah, so basically, um, you know, new shoots for the Justice League movie uh is something that we kind of all expected already especially because of all the new scenes Zack Snyder said he wanted to put in but didn't get to shoot yet so there's this way of framing it maybe uh they're releasing this article to kind of shoot a shot at Ray Fisher just a warning shot saying to back off if you want to be in our movies in the future and then you got articles like uh Slash Film right here saying Zack Snyder's Justice League reshoots will reportedly cost around 70 million now, I'm not going to read the article to you. I'm just looking at the framing of the title, and it says reshoots, like they're going to reshoot scenes. From my understanding of everything, they're not going to reshoot scenes. They're going to shoot additional photography. So again, it goes it goes uh, with the theme of a lot of trades kind of misrepresenting what's actually going on with Justice League. From what I understand, he's going to be shooting additional photography, and that's what even uh, Grace Randolph has reported on her YouTube channel that it was already a given that he was going to shoot new scenes, especially having to re-edit the movie into a four-hour cut versus a, a long-form theatrical movie. And of course, there was going to have to be extra money thrown into there for editing and finishing VFX and all that. But with additional money being thrown at it, maybe they can go ahead and get uh, you know Amy Adams to reprise a role. Um, uh, I forget the actor on top of my head, but General Swanwick to come back for that Marshall Manta Hunter uh, thing and even Grace Randolph said that they were going to even add to the movie more things that weren't even originally planned. So maybe they're thinking about making this, uh, making a sequel to this. That would be so awesome. I don't want to speculate too much, but then you got an article from Collider that came out yesterday and basically it says Henry Cavill is not shooting anything new. So there's a lot of different reporting that's going on. Suffice it to say that. There is going to be additional photography. When we get word of what it's going to be, I'll definitely report on it. But there's a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of news being floated around everywhere. And basically, I'm just excited that there's going to be more uh, photography going on. And I'm sure the Ray Fisher thing will play out more. He's going to respond and we're going to have more things to talk about. So I'll definitely cover more of this in detail in the future when I kind of get up. I feel like I've been kind of running a little late on the news, especially since it's been coming at us so fast. And, uh, you know, with Darren's injury, he hasn't been able to cover it as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back to you with a big update. But I just want to say, I think it's all good news. We're going to get additional photography for Justice League. And I can't wait. Um, and the other news, uh, as far as Justice League goes, Ryan Reynolds was on Twitter and he said, I'm not playing Hawkman in Black Adam, although I generally do whatever the hell The Rock tells me to do. I would, however, love to be in Zack Snyder's Justice League movie. And I heard I may already be in it. Hashtag Snyder Cut. And it's pretty funny because Grace Randolph said that Zack 
does want Ryan Reynolds to be a Green Lantern in the movie. And if that's the case, I'm all for it. You guys know me. I want Ryan Reynolds to play Hal Jordan again. Obviously, there's a lot of other actors that would be great. But uh, to see Ryan Reynolds be able to come back to the role, I think would be awesome. And Ryan Reynolds, I think I tweeted about this. Ryan Reynolds is just really good at trolling everyone. So I don't know. That's If that's true, that'd be awesome. If not, it's all good. Whatever Zach wants to do is okay with me. I just can't wait to see the movie. Let me know what you guys think about all of that. And I want to end this by saying, uh, I didn't talk about this, but looks like there's going to be an HBO Max uh, a Peacemaker show. I'm sure you guys have heard of this by now. And basically, there's going to be more characters. Uh, there's going to be more characters uh, in this show, uh, more Suicide Squad characters. And, you know, a lot of people were complaining about it on Twitter. All I got to say is I'm happy we're getting more DC content on HBO Max. I think James Gunn is probably going to be a really good fit. And I think Peacemaker is probably going to be one of those guys that stands out in the movie. John Cena, his, his comedic chops are definitely there. And I just wanted to chime in on this and say I'm excited for it. You know, I don't know about you guys. A lot of people are saying that's not what we asked for, but sometimes what you don't ask for is something that you appreciate when you get it, and I'll, that's all I'll say about that. But let me know what you guys think about this HBO Max show, too. Just wanted to chime in, give you guys an update before the weekend. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.